very quick. Um, that was very difficult to sit through. Uh, the, the first half was difficult, um, being being around a snake. Uh, not maybe a snake all the time, but professionally at least today uh, isn't isn't easy. Um, it was much worse this afternoon when I was reminded just how horrifically medieval uh, the arguments are, um, de denying the reality of um, suicidal depression and uh, Asperger's. Um, saying that you cannot be you cannot be depressed if you ask for oranges, uh, or you go to a library, or you watch television. That you, if you're autistic, there's no way that you can make eye contact or maintain relationships. And when I nearly snapped was when he said that. He could not be considered autistic because he was given custody of children. <laughs> custody of children! So, not only under their logic should I be in America or dead, but I should not have children and I should not be allowed to look any of you in the eyes or maintain relationships with you. Um, and I held, held my peace until the very end. Um, and, and what injured me almost as much was the, the treatment of Professor Koppelman who I know to be a man of conscience uh, because, not because he was uh, remiss in, in his uh, evidence to the court, which was detailed um, and uh, in depth and on the basis of incredible expertise and consideration, but because he, like Julian, like some might say about me, uh, he committed an act of conscience and uh, first, before his duty to the court, respected his most solemn obligations under an oath that he took before he became a person giving evidence to this court, under an oath that was written before this court existed, before England existed. And so I won't be allowed back in tomorrow because I recited a few lines from that Hippocratic oath where it says, after a, uh, a few names of some gods to bear witness and a few other remarks, that I will... I will not do, I'm paraphrasing now, but uh, I will not do anything that causes harm and I will not violate the confidence of people in my care. And that's what Mr. Coppermint did. And even the judge in, in, in her decision uh, made it clear that this did not uh, violate his obligation to this court, that this does not compromise his evidence. And so to, to see his character assassinated in this way, it was pretty low, and so I, so I had to say something that no, no one will have to deal with me in there tomorrow. Uh, so instead, out here, we'll be having a five-hour uh, briefing based on uh, classified top-secret material. I've got kicking around. Um,